Hello there, it's me Alex and in this video we're gonna make simple enemy that's gonna walk left and right and flip himself if he sees the wall or if he doesn't see any ground in front of him. If you don't mind to support me, please subscribe to my channel and give me a like. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments below and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. Now let's begin with simple. We're gonna organize a bit our project. Let's create folder here and I'll name it as material. Drag the material there and then create another folder for scripts. And I'll name it just scripts. All right. Take the scripts, drag them inside. Then we go to prefab folder. Let's create a prefab from a trap fire. Drag it like that. And fruit apple as well. All right. Now I'll delete these three. We don't need them anymore for now. And delete, delete, delete. Cool. Now let's get assets for the enemies. We're going to go to window, asset store. And type here pixel adventure 2. Yeah, it is there. Now let's open in Unity, import the assets to your project. Once you've done that, let's organize it a bit. I'm going to do show in Explorer assets, find the sprites of the enemies. It's over here. Press cut, go back to graphics folder and paste it in. Now I can go back to Unity and delete this folder Pixel Adventure. We don't need it anymore. Cool. Now let's begin creating the enemy. I want to create this chicken. Let's take all of them. Change pixel per unit to 16. Then we can take idle sprite, drag it here and name it as enemy chicken. All right, very simple. We cannot see it because we need to change sorting layer. So I'm going to do sorting layer, add sorting layer, I'll write a name enemy and I'll drag it above the player. Now let's take this enemy chicken, change certain layer to enemy and ta-da, it's visible. All right, next what we need to do here is to create a script. Let's create C sharp script enemy chicken and go inside. For this chicken to work properly, we need a rigid body to give her velocity so we can give her velocity. So I'll type private rigid body to DRB, we need animator, private animator anim. Then we need a move speed, right? So let's make a header for this move info. And this will be serialized field private float move speed. Then serialized field, we need idle time, load idle time. Then we need idle counter, so private float idle time counter. I'll move it here. Okay, so now we have move speed and now we know how long chicken should wait. Let's make idle time 2 by default, by the way. All right. Now, next step would be the collision checks. This is same as we did with the player. So header, collision info. I think we need serialized field private float round check distance and then same for the walls private float wall check distance then we need layer mask private layer mask what is ground and we need transforms for the wall check and ground check so let's do this private transform ground check serialized field private transform wall check and as the last of what i can think of we need a facing direction private int facing direction and it will be minus one by default because sprites here are looking to the left right let's go back to code get the components rb equals get component of rigid body 2d then anim equals to get component of animator very simple here then let's Go to update and decide how we detect ground and how we detect uh, walls i think for this we can have a boolean so let's do this private bool wall detected sorry detected private bool ground de detected i'll swap them all right now in the update i'll type that wall detected is equals to physics 2d dot raycast from wall check dot position in the direction uh, let's do vector two dot right multiplied by facing direction and we need distance here 
So it's a wall check distance. And what is ground is a layer mask. Cool. Now one more. Ground check. Basically same process here. Dot raycast from ground check dot position vector two dot down uh, ground check distance what is ground all right wait a second what i forgot all right there is a mistake this should be ground detected okay this is done i think we can take these two lines and press alt enter extract method collision check all right this is done now let's do gizmos for them so private void and draw gizmos and now we'll be able to see them if we type gizmos draw line from let's begin with the ground ground check dot position to new vector two ground check position dot x plus oh wait dot x and ground check position dot y minus ground check distance now another one kismas dot draw line wall check dot position to new vector two wall check dot position dot x plus wall check distance multiplied by facing direction and wall check position dot y okay now we have this detection. Let's go and set them up and add components. Enemy chicken. Add component of rigid body 2D. Add component of a circle collider. And let's drag the script here. All right. What is ground? Ground. Now we need these transforms for checks. Let's create empty ground check. And I'll duplicate it and I'll name it as wall check. Cool. Let's drag ground over here. Wall check over here. All right. Ground check distance. Right, we cannot see it. It's over here. And we need to place it in front of the chicken somewhere here. Okay. Regarding wall check, I just want to put it a bit lower over here. And let's increase it to something like this. Okay, now let's create an animator for chicken. We go to animations folder. This is kind of a mess. Let's create folders for them. Trap. We're gonna take trap off, trap on, and trap fire AC. And drag them to the trap folder. Create folder fruits. Drag it here. Now let's create new folder enemies and go inside create animator controller with the name enemy chicken ac all right drag it to the chicken and let's create animation for her she doesn't have many animations let's go to the sprites of a chicken create new clip make sure you select correct folder enemies over here and we're going to type chicken idle Drag it here, change sample rate to 10. Let's see how it looks. Okay, it's too slow. I'll try 15. I think it's okay. Let's see. We can always change it. Let's create new clip. Chicken move. Take these sprites, drag them here and change sample rate to 15. <laughs> See, it's so funny. Okay, and we have this hit animation. We're not gonna use it yet, but let's just create it. So later on we have it. Chicken hit. Drag it here and put sample rate 10. All right, now let's go to animator of the chicken. And we're gonna use a blend tree here. It's gonna be very simple. Let's move this chicken hit here. Delete this one and delete this one. All right, create state from new blend tree. Let's change this blend name to X velocity. Go inside by clicking twice. Let's change the name to idle 
move. Oh, it doesn't change its name. I don't know why. I'm sorry, I had to restart Unity. So let's change the name of the blend tree to idle move. All right. And we're going to click select it and click add motion field, add motion field. Let's uncheck automate threshold and add two motions here. First chicken idle. No, wait. First chicken move. Another one chicken idle. And then one more chicken move. Now we're going to set threshold here. Minus one, zero, one. And this, as you know, idle animation and move animation. And we'll look what we're doing here. With the change in velocity of the X, we can transfer between animations. So if it's a zero, it will be in idle state and it will be played as idle animation. If she moves to the left or to the right, it's going to be chicken move animation. Very simple stuff. I don't know what's wrong with the naming. Let's keep changing. Idle move. Okay. Let's set it as a default layer. Right? And that's it for this one. Let's go back to script. In the update, we're going to type anim set float of x velocity. And we're going to give it a value of rb.velocity.x. Next step would be is to make her move. So we do this rb.velocity equals to a new vector to uh, move speed multiplied by face and direction and for the y rb.velocity.y done here now she's gonna move but we need to make this movement only if she's not idle now let's allow movement only if idle counter is less than zero so if idle time passed long time ago right so we're gonna do this idle time counter minus equals time dot delta time so we're gonna decrease the value all the time and this movement will be allowed only if idle time counter is less than zero. All right. Now we're going to go down here and do something with the chicken. We're going to type if wall detected or not ground detected. Then we're going to flip her. We're going to create function soon. And we're going to set idle time counter to the idle time. Okay. Now let's create this method. Alt enter generate method. And luckily, we already have some code for flipping. So we can go to player script. Wait a second. Where is my player script? Here. Find it flip function. Take this code. Go back to enemy chicken. Paste it in here. And... We can delete this line of code. We don't need it. Just face in direction and rotate the transform. All right. Basically, that's it. I'm going to give this chicken a move speed over six. Then I'll place her somewhere here. And I'll play the game. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. We need to do something here. We need to open rigid body. Freeze rotation on the Z. And I think it's better to change it from circle collider to, let's say, uh, box collider. Box collider 2D. Let's see the size. Uh, it's all right. Just in case, I want to increase wall check. Let's say 1.15. And let's put here 5 instead of 3. Okay. Now she's going to the wall. She stops, flipping, waiting, and going again. Isn't it cool? Now, if you take her and place her on the platform, just like that. Oh, no. She keeps moving. Even if we stop velocity, there was some velocity. All right, let's go back to script and type here else rb.velocity equals to new vector 2, 0, 0. Okay, so if idle time has come, she's going to stop immediately. This will stop her from falling. Now watch this. Yeah. Isn't that cool? She's going. She doesn't see the ground in front. So it's going to flip and wait. And it's like that. Very simple. Very smart enemy. You can place her anywhere you want. And it's going to work fine. All right, let's go to 
project folder and open prefab and drag chicken over here. Now there is something else I want to tell you that is I'm preparing a course on how to make this very platformer but with much bigger options. So if you want to see it later on please subscribe so you won't miss any updates. Thanks for paying attention and I'll see you in the next one.